The transfer portal is heating up for Texas Tech, and in today's video, we'll discuss a prospect that has the Red Raiders in their top six, as well as another prospect that has ties to a player in the Texas Tech program. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's R.C. Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast, and if you want to shout out on an upcoming video, do two things for me. Like down to the comment section and comment T. T U. It's that simple, and I'll give you a shout out on an upcoming video, not specifically the next one, but one here in the not too distant future. So if you want to help support the channel, like the video, and if you want a shout out, do both like the video and comment T T U. All right, let's jump into the latest Texas Tech transfer portal targets. And this one could be interesting to some. Jordan Sears, a 6'1 guard out of the University of Tennessee Martin. He announced that he has Texas Tech in his top six. The other schools that made his top six include Alabama, Arizona State, West Virginia, South Carolina, and LSU. He stands at 6'1 and average just over 21 and a half points per game, over four and a half rebounds per game, four and a half assists, 1.1 steals, and has one year of eligibility remaining. When it comes to pure scores in the definition of it in the dictionary, Sears is probably one of the picture options that you see. He is an absolute bucket with unlimited range. He had 10 plus threes last year from 25 feet or deeper. Pretty damn good. Not to mention he had six plus 30 point games and shot 43% from three on 173 attempts. Baller type numbers right there. Oh, by the way, he is a really good passer as well. Had a 27% assist rate and ranked 97th percentile on catch-and-shoot opportunities while also in the 87th percentile for spot-up shots. He's also good in the pick-and-roll, ranking higher than the 70th percentile. In that regard, when he is a primary ball handler, he is a guy that is very intriguing. And before you you know, knock it in terms of, oh, he's 6'1", I don't want any of these smaller guards. The dude's a bucket. Now, I'm saying that there will be a transition period potentially if he does pick the Red Raiders in the sense of going from UT Martin all the way to the Big 12 in Texas Tech, there will be a transition there. I don't expect him to average 21.6 points per game if that happens, but he is a really talented scorer, and I'm telling you right now, he's 100% in the mix for Texas Tech. Does he end up at Texas Tech? TBD. But Texas Tech is firmly in the mix here. He likes what the Red Raiders have to offer. I think this might be more on the coaching side if they want to go this direction. But he is 100% in the mix in an absolute bucket in terms of what he has done at both Gardner-Webb and UT Martin. Again, 21.6 points per game, over four and a half rebounds, four and a half assists, he shot 43% from three. He ranked 97th percentile off the catch and shoot, 87th percentile on a spot up, and in the top 70 percentile when it comes to pick and roll being the primary ball handler. Dude's a stud. It's just, are you comfortable potentially with him being 6'1"? And let's face it, maybe you don't have the ability to go get a guard that's 6'4 as the lead guy. There's a lot of those guys in the portal, but are they good enough to be your lead guard? That's the question. Sears, he's an elite scorer. There's no doubt about that. It really comes down to, does Texas Tech want to have a 6-1 guard lead the way potentially next season? All right, let's get into the next guy here. And that is, well, actually real quick, like the video if you haven't already. Again, I'm telling you, we'll give you a shout out if you want on the next podcast. Well, not the next podcast, but one of the next videos, I should say. If you like the video and comment TTU down in the comments, let me know you're watching. It helps us in a lot of ways in terms of engagement and also knows that you like the content. So like the video and comment TTU down in the comments below. All right, this one, um, I'm sure a lot more people will like. Javon Hadley, a 6'6 guard out of Colorado. He averaged just under 12 points per game last year. For the Buffaloes, average an even six rebounds, 2.4 assists. He has two years of eligibility remaining. He is a long, versatile guard at 6'6". He can really guard one through four and wreak havoc on smaller guards on the defensive end. He can finish with either hand, has good touch, and is a guy that is really, really good in transition. We'll talk about those numbers here in just a second. 
But for a 6'6 guard, he's a really good passer and does a lot of good things in terms of efficiency. And what I mean by that is he is efficient at the free throw line, 84 percentile there, but also efficient in transition where he ranked 89th percentile in terms of points per possession while in transition. Speaking of an elite number, you thought 89 was good. How about 97? He ranked in the 97th percentile for spot up shooters. We're talking about Darion Williams type stuff when he was at Nevada type numbers right there, averaging 1.53 points per possession if it's a spot up shot for him. That's a stud number. Now, I mentioned early on in the video there in the open that there was one guy, it's obviously got to be Sears or Hadley in terms of they have connections to someone within the program. That would be Hadley. The person that he has a connection with is Kerwin Walton. Kerwin Walton and Hadley are both from Minnesota. Their families know each other. They're friends. There is a relationship there. So maybe that could be pivotal for the Red Raiders and potentially landing Hadley. I will say this, though, about his recruitment. It feels a little early, but as we know, the portal can just speed up really, really quickly. He's a guy that I'm very much interested in, and it wouldn't be surprising at all to me due to the Kerwin Walton connection and also being able to come play in the toughest conference in America, the Big 12, if that Texas Tech was in his top five whenever that was released um, here in the not too distant future, I would presume. Again, a guy that ranked 89th percentile in terms of points per possession in transition, elite spot up shooter. I'm using that word correctly here. I know some people get on to me in the comments when I say elite, but 97th percentile nationally when it comes to catch and shoot and spot up shooting opportunities, excuse me, 1.53 points per possession. That is a insane number. OK, he's also got really good touch where he can be the guy that gets in there, has the float game as well and finish with either hand around the rim. He is a guy that is an instant plug and play guy, much like Jordan Sears would be for the Red Raiders if they were to land either of their commitments via the transfer portal. All right. One more time before we head out of here, be sure to like the video, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay in the know on Texas Tech men's basketball all year long. Listen. Y'all have spoken. I will keep y'all up to date when it comes to the transfer portal. I can promise you that. And another great place to get all of your information when it comes to Texas Tech men's basketball is the Scarlet and Black Insider. Head on over to scarletandblackinsider.com and use the code SPI to get your first month for a dollar. A dollar. That's it. There's no better time to join than right now to keep you in the know on everything transfer portal for your Red Raiders. Austin Massey and I actually recorded a subscriber only video last night for the site. Go check that out. There was great details about who could be potentially entering the portal for the Red Raiders and who they've got their eye on outside of the guys that I've mentioned of some videos here. So go on over there, hit that subscribe button for them, right? Use the code SBI. It's $1 people. What do you have to lose? Get the best information for Texas Tech men's basketball on the internet over on scarletandblackinsider.com. And before you head on over there, real quick, like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell to join the largest group of Texas Tech fans on YouTube right here in the Back to 12 podcast channel.